Hello everyone, my name is Ryan. Some of you know me as John Dole, right here in Japan. Now, step back everyone, take a deep breath. TEPCO has a plan. Now I know it's be it's worry here, but you know, because it is TEPCO. But TEPCO has come out with what they call a plan to stop the radioactive water contamination leaking out into the ocean. Now, the, now TEPCO insists that these radioactive substances are coming from the initial stages of the Fukushima crisis. And they have set up barriers to where they claim they found the initial leaking to say that's going to stop it. Now, details on what type of barriers? Well, they're not too clear on that. But industry experts have said that this is impossible. It's impossible to pinpoint exactly where these leaks are coming from. And they have said that these leaks could be coming from anywhere within that um, quite dynamic coolant system and anywhere where the melted cores happened. Those leaks could be coming from any, any point in between. So when TEPCO says, we got a plan, we know where the leaks are coming from, we're just going to put up a barrier and all be good. Well, not true. Not true at all. And we know that TEPCO has been unable to find exactly where the leaks come from. TEPCO has said this themselves before. So now they come back and they make the claim that we know where the leaks are coming from. It's from the initial radioactive substances that happened in the first few days. We know where that's at. We're going to put up a barrier so it can't get out. Well, it's kind of hard to know that. TEPCO has not once been inside the central area of the plant. TEPCO has not once been able to pinpoint exactly what causes the leaks. They can find leaking. Uh, in one rare case, they found it coming out of the storage pits. But that's not actual contamination leaking. That's water that's already contaminated. And the storage pits they were putting in started the leak. And then recently, we had uh, wells near the plant show up with highly high amount of radioactivity. Proven once again, you got radioactive water leaking everywhere into the ocean. But then, but then again, we don't know exactly where these leaks are coming from. Now, there has been theories out there that say that at this point the melted core has melted further, further enough through the plant that some of that material has gotten into the water, the local water supply, and that's what's causing this to happen. But we cannot confirm that. But that is a good possibility here. So, again, guys, look out. TEPCO's got a plan. And as we know, in the past, every time TEPCO says they got a plan, it's a temporary fix, like a band-aid on an open wound, or it's some harebrained scheme to make it look like they're doing something, when actually, they're doing nothing. Well, this is, this is TEPCO's latest attempt to make things good. We'll see how it goes. But judging from TEPCO's past, you shouldn't expect much. And if these leaks to start up again, well, there you go. What more can you say? So as always, this is me here in Tokyo. Leave a comment, comment box below. Make a video response if you want. If you've never subscribed to this channel, please do. Till next time, this is me here in Japan. Checking out.